There has been a lot of talk lately about the Democratic leaders who seem lukewarm at best about their candidate for governor, but not Vin Gopal. He's chairman of the Monmouth County Democrats. He was and is one of Barbara Bono's biggest backers, and he joins us now from our studio at Brookdale Community College. Uh, good of you to join us right now. There's an awful lot of, uh, from the outside looking in going on here, that says that you might be the exception rather than the rule in terms of your level of support and enthusiasm. Why is that? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. Uh, I don't think that's true. I think there's a lot of enthusiasm for our candidate. Um, you know, we had over 250 elected officials and, and party leaders here in Monmouth County uh, uh, endorse her um, uh, very publicly. We had hundreds of people at our first kickoff. And the folks I talk to, the leaders across the state, of course, you're going to have some that are a little bit more reserved because they, they're not familiar with her. They don't know her as well. But that's going to change over the next couple of months. And I think you're going to see the enthusiasm gap grow as she gets out there. Uh, her speeches are firing people up, and I think she's going to be a, a great candidate. She well, you've got a, you got a mayor Christmas. in your neck of the, of the woods right down there, Dean Long from Seabright, who came out and had the governor down there and a, a big uh, cross-party love fest, some are calling it. What do you make of that? Well, you know, Mayor, mayor Long, that's, that's her right. She, she's outside of the exception of the other 120 or so uh, Democratic elected officials in the, in the county. Uh, mayor Long, I've never seen her at a Democratic event um, as long as I've been chair the last couple of years. Uh, I spoke to our recent Democratic electeds. Uh, they, they don't see her around much, so I think her exposure with Governor Christie is probably greater than it is with our county party. But obviously you saw up in Essex County recently, the governor up there for the State of the County Address. Uh, Joe DiVincendo, obviously one of the major power players in this state. Uh, a lot of other prominent Democrats were there. Senator Bono was not. Was that a mistake on her part not to be there? I, I don't think so. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, Senator Bono's out five, six events a day. I'm sure uh, uh, she had uh, uh, obligations. Uh, she's traveling all over the states, and I'm sure on the night of the state of the county that night, she had uh, several other events she had to attend to. Is she raising enough money? to run an effective campaign against an incumbent as popular as Chris Christie? Absolutely. She's already hit matching funds. Uh, the reality is the governor has a lot of special interest money from all over the country. He's, uh, he's out of the state every day raising money. Uh, and he's going to outspend the Democratic Party. But she's going to have more than enough money to get her message out and to connect with voters that, that uh, she's the better choice in November. And the fact that we don't see or hear nearly as much from her now, is that a strategic decision that you think plays well later in the, in the uh, race? She's out there with, with press releases every day, but she's getting her infrastructure together. She's only been the presumptive nominee for about two weeks now. So she's mm -hmm. getting her organization together. You're going to see a very aggressive field and grassroots campaign. At the end of the day, this is a governor with the second highest uh, foreclosure rate in the country, fourth highest unemployment rate in the country, 10% unemployment, highest property taxes we've seen in quite some time. He's going to have to answer this, and she's building an organization right now at the grassroots that's going to address all these issues and really give voters a choice in November. Where is her strength greatest? that she can play off what you perceive to be the governor's greatest weakness? Well, I, you know, Senator Bono has a lot to bring to the table. Her record, uh, you know, growing up uh, in, a, in a meager household, uh, working herself through college and law school, and that's going to contrast to a governor that's, that, that opposes raising the minimum wage, uh, that won't sign a marriage equality bill, that has cut women's health care funding. Um, that supports, uh, you know, benefits for millionaires. And, and when that contrast happens, and as she introduces herself to the voters, because we have eight months, a lot of people want to write this election off now, but we have eight months uh, where Senator Bono is going to be all over the state. She's going to be on TV. She's going to be on radio. There's going to be a massive grassroots operation. And as voters become more familiar with her, which they're not right now, this is going to be a much closer race. There's a 40-point gap in the polls in many of these polls, though. Yeah, but that's, it's, we're eight months out, and people aren't, that, that poll shows that people aren't familiar with her. That same poll mm -hmm. asked, how do you feel about Chris Christie on the economy? He's polling at 42%. How do you feel about him on taxes? He's polling 43%. Mm -hmm. He's done a great job on, in, in Sandy, and as the chair in Monmouth County, uh, you know, we, we acknowledge he did a great job here. But there was a lot of other issues before the storm hit, and there's going to be a lot more issues after. And he needs to answer why he uh, opposes increasing a minimum wage, a living wage, which 75% of the people in that same poll uh, support. There's a lot of issues at the table here. And wh when all is said and done, you're, you're convinced that Barbara Bono can beat Chris Christie? 
I'm convinced Barbona is going to be the next governor, and there's going to be a lot of people working uh, throughout the state to make sure that's going to happen. These polls are all going to tighten. The reason that Chris Christie's up right now is because people don't know her. As they get to know her, as she's not as well known as Cory Booker or Dick Cody or some of those other names, but she will get out there. She's, she's overmatching funds. She's going to have over a million dollars. Um, she'll, she'll, she'll raise a competitive amount of money uh, to really get her message out there and make a compelling case to New Jersey voters. Vin Gopal, have to leave it there. Thank you for coming on the program, sir. Thanks for having me.